Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I've got a few topics to share with you in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam. I'll, I'll be starting with new comments from attorney John Deaton, who basically just rips the SEC's argument of XRP being a security to shreds, so you're going to have a good time with that. Feel free to pop some popcorn. If you want to pause the video here, pop that pop of corn, and then come right on back. I will be waiting for you. Uh, also, there's this piece from the Daily Hoddle. This is a fun one. Janet Yellen says she's concerned about illicit use of crypto assets. And uh, chain analysis finds 0.34% of transaction volume connected to crime. And so this is Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen uh, stating some old timey stuff. Like you, you will swear by the time I finish covering this that that Janet Yellen traveled from the past with her old-timey ideas, perhaps 2013, I don't know, maybe as late as 2015, but traveled from the past to spout out her old-timey views uh, out here to the general public, which leads me to believe two things. Number one, she has somehow, I don't know how, but she somehow has a functioning flux capacitor, and two, she has a DeLorean. Those are the only two things I know with about 100% certainty. And then there's this piece from you today. It's, quote, pretty obvious that XRP is a security, says Bitcoin hater Peter Schiff. Now, of course, he loves selling his yellow rocks. He is a gold bug, right? Loves selling his yellow rocks. Doesn't understand crypto. He thinks he does. But uh, he could not be more wrong. There will be continued global adoption, and he's just going to miss the whole damn thing, and history is going to... I look back and be like, eh, mm, I really missed the mark on that one. Which is too bad, because I, I really do agree with him on all sorts of stuff that he says not related to crypto, but man, he's missing the mark here. And he's also rather uninformed, but I want to run through it, because Peter Schiff, he's a well-known figure in the world of crypto, even though he hates crypto. He's right up there with, uh, you know, like Nouriel, Nouriel uh, Rabini, for example. And uh, it's just it's just fun to talk about the silly things that he has to say. So he's he's uninformed. Now, mind you, while he's saying this, <laughs> mind you, I, I can't find a single lawyer outside of the SEC that says XRP today in 2021 is a security. But here you go. Goldbug Peter Schiff, so news, yellow rocks, do, 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 saying things out into the world. Good times, everybody. All right, into this thread from attorney John Deaton. Uh, Ripple executives like Brad Garlinghouse, Chris Larson, David Schwartz, and Stuart Alderody have stated that XRP was not designed to pay for a cup of coffee. Instead, it was designed for the banks and money service providers. Uh, yeah, so... Pretty, pretty close. I'd like to parse that if I could just, just a little bit. Uh, so David Schwartz, even recently, has stated that you know they always had this idea that XRP would um, would be used for payments. Didn't exactly know what that would be. They didn't know that it would ultimately be positioned by Ripple as a as, as a bridge currency. They didn't have that much figured out. It was really developed by early Bitcoiners just as a better version of Bitcoin. That's that, that's really what they were going for. They wanted something technologically superior, faster, more scalable, energy efficient, you know, less costly to transact, all that stuff. Th th those are attributes that they were considering when they were uh, were created it. But yeah, you know, as, as far as it functionally being used in place of fiat currency, I haven't seen anything uh, from them in, in my over three years of following this stuff where they're like, yeah, we wanted it to be used as money. So th that's definitely correct. I, I, I've never seen anything like that. If you can find something like that, look, I would be genuinely fascinated. So let me know. But anyway, uh, he continues here. In fact, XRP was labeled by the hardcore Bitcoin community as the banker's coin. XRP as the banker's coin has been helping several financial institutions and or money service providers during the last several years. And it's, by the way, if I could pause there, it's always been funny to me that although he's absolutely correct, that uh, the Bitcoin maxis in particular caught the bankers coming because they say down with banks, down with government because they're childish anarchists, some of them anyway. And it's nonsensical. It's, it's a very unsophisticated way of looking at the world. But they'll say that. They'll say, ah, it's the bankers coin. But then they'll say, banks are never going to use it. And I'm just like, oh, audible sigh. How the hell is it a banker's coin from your perspective if banks are never going to use it? Hashtag idiot stick. 
<sighs> really grinds my gears. Anyway, on with what John was saying. Hel um, <laughs> help to these financial institution runs afoul with the original vision of Bitcoin, which was to replace and or bypass the banks. If you disagree, simply read the first paragraph of Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper. It reads, commerce on the internet um, has to rely uh, almost exclusively on financial institutions serving as trusted third parties to process electronic payments. The first sentence of the second paragraph reads, what is needed is an electronic payment system based on cryptographic proof, proof instead of trust, allowing any two willing parties to transact directly with each other without the need for a trusted third party. The trusted third party is the bank. Hence, the Bitcoin maxis labeled uh, XRP the, the, uh, the banker's coin. The SEC and others need to understand the important design distinction. I say that because in the SEC's complaint against Ripple, it seems to take issue as significant that Ripple understood that XRP purchasers routinely resold XRP to other investors in the United States and other countries. And you write C complaint, I guess page 15, paragraph 88. Uh, this issue of secondary market resales of digital assets was also publicly mentioned by Clayton on business channels such as CNBC. The argument that a digital asset that is publicly traded in secondary markets somehow transforms that digital asset into a security is absolutely absurd. If true, then the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple potentially implicates all digital currencies and or digital assets. Remember, uh, Clayton has publicly stated that, in his belief, if a person purchases a token and someone goes out and does a venture and that effort increases the value of the token, it is a security. He said, if a person gets a return in the secondary markets from the token, it is a security. And I want to pause there and see, like, one of the things that I, I've always found desirable is that even though holding XRP, I know that I don't own Ripple the company. You'd have to be an idiot to think otherwise. <clears throat> Jay Clayton. <clears throat> asshat. What an asshat. Uh, so I, I'm aware that that is not the case. But one thing I do find desirable is that there are multiple uh, entities building on top of the XRP ledger. And uh, collectively, given that that results in additional utility of XRP... To me, utility means staying power, and if you have an asset that has staying power, uh, you know, traded on open exchange, it deserves to have a, a price, an open market price, ideally increasing in perpetuity. And, and so it, it's not one company. There's all sorts of entities building on top of the ledger. And if the fact that multiple entities building on top of the ledger means it's a security, well, if, if, that, if that's what it means to you, then you're an asshat. You're an actual asshat. And I'm not talking about a hat for a butt. I'm just saying, like, you if you believe that, you're an asshat, right? So hopefully that's clear. Anyway, John Deaton continues. The mere fact that some investors may acquire XRP with the hope that it will increase in value does not transform XRP into a security. The same is true of Bitcoin and Ethereum speculators. The same is true... With baseball card speculators, gold speculators, art speculators, or Pokemon speculators, I've tweeted several times that the SEC case against XRP poses a potential threat to all of crypto. Why would the SEC claim that today's XRP is a security? With all the claims lately about regulating crypto, including Bitcoin, does the government have all of crypto in its sights? Why was the SEC complaint against Ripple full of irrelevant noise? For example, why did the SEC discuss Garlinghouse's personal sales of XRP while mentioning that he had publicly stated he was very long XRP? It's not relevant unless the SEC is alleging fraud or misrepresentation. Yeah, let me pause right there. Consider this. Like, oh my God, it has nothing to do with their charges. So check this out. They could have put in there, for example... Brad Garlinghouse walked down the street instead of riding a bicycle. What the, like, even if true, what the hell does that matter? Like, that's, that's as nonsensical as what so they're talking about because they knew it would elicit emotion, right? And it sure as hell stirred up many in the XRP community, not me. I was like, 
But it's an asset he owns, and if he wants to sell it, he should be able to sell it. Like, that was part of my position, always has been. Even before all this, I've been talking about that for over half a year because I knew he was selling it, but he's still long. I was like, but just think about that. It has nothing to do with this. It's designed to stir up emotions, add in fluff, things that make it sound like they're greedy individuals. That's the narrative they want to paint. But it's just as nonsensical as stating something, even if true, Brad Garland has to walk down the street instead of riding a bicycle. Oh, that, that, ooh, that Brad Garland house. I'm telling you, man. <sighs> it really burns my biscuits. Anyway, John Deaton continues. A CEO often gets paid in stock. A CEO often sells some of his stock. That doesn't mean he isn't long the stock or the company. Jeff Bezos sells $1 billion of Amazon stock every year. Why bring Brad's XRP sales up if you aren't claiming fraud or misrepresentation? It's absolutely irrelevant to whether XRP is a security. Did the SEC bring it up to make Brad and Larson look bad? Was it meant to generate outrage so that other crypto projects are root for the SEC and against Ripple and XRP? It's the strategy of divide and conquer in play here. Uh, it's it's fascinating question, is it not? And so like, John Deaton's absolutely per per use killing it here, making all. See, like, this is what I call logic. This this is pure logic. And so what the SEC is doing is not logic. Uh, and so as far as the motive, uh, that, and that's why you, also why John keeps saying, look. It's it's so nonsensical what the SEC is doing that all, all we can do is is try and speculate like what that like it makes so so little sense like all we can do is speculate on what these idiots are thinking like effectively it, it's crazy stuff here and then you have this from the Daily Huddle Janet Yellen says she's concerned about illicit use of crypto assets oh let's dig into this one this is a good one I just want to know. Like, did she steal the flux capacitor from Doc Brown? I just, ah, I don't know. Like, it needs, because if there's more than one of them, that would really be something, a functioning one. Uh, but if so, she is a thief. She is a thieving thief traveling into the future to spew nonsense from the past. Anyway, former Federal Reserve Chair and Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen is addressing the potential use of cryptocurrency for illicit financing. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Sounds scary. What's this crypto stuff? It should be banned. Speaking at a confirmation hearing with the U.S. Senate Finance Committee, Yellen answered questions from Senator Maggie Hassan about the potential for terrorists to use digital assets to fund illicit activities. Here's a quote now. Cryptocurrencies are a particular concern. I think many are used, at least in a transaction sense, mainly for illicit financing, and I think we really need to examine ways in which we can curtail their use and make sure that anti-money laundering doesn't occur through those channels. <laughs> what an ancient narrative. In 2021, there's a human that still believes that? This is astonishing to me. So take a look at this. The comments come as the blockchain analytics firm Chainalysis releases its latest overview of the real-world use of crypto among bad actors. It finds that crypto-related crime dropped to 0.34% of total transaction, uh, transaction volume in 2020, down from 2.1% in 2019. Well, good, because you know what? All the people... Like uh, back in like, you know, imagine like 2011 era that were using Bitcoin for illicit purposes. I don't think they understood how it worked because the Bitcoin blockchain is public and it made it super easy to track everything. If you want to engage in nefarious activities, it's better to just use the United States dollar, right? Here's a tweet from Anthony Pompliano on exactly this. Janet Yellen stated today that cryptocurrencies are concerning because of terrorist financing and money laundering. She forgot to mention that the U.S. dollar is the choice currency of criminals around the world. The large banks launder more than entire the entire Bitcoin market cap. <laughs> Fair enough points. I don't know. It's stupid, but there we go. Yay. And then we got this piece. This is a fun one. Oh, my God. Good old Peter Schiff. I don't know. I just I can't help but like this guy. I really can't. I mean, he's, he says some silly stuff, but... I, I get the sense that he believes what he's saying, and it's just so bass-ackwards 
that I, I, I don't know, I kind of get a kick out of it. I just, I, I kind of do. That's why I cover them on the channel from time to time. Here's the piece title. It's pretty obvious that XRP is a security, says Bitcoin hater Peter Schiff. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's learn about your insight on this. On a recent podcast with Liz Clayman, the host of Fox Business Network's The Clayman Countdown, Euro Pacific Capital CEO and Bitcoin nemesis Peter Schiff opined that it is pretty obvious that XRP, the fifth largest cryptocurrency associated with Ripple, is actually a security as the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission alleges. And here's a quote. I think it's pretty obvious that Ripple is a security, so he doesn't even know to call it XRP. There you go. Uh, but he says Ripple is a security because all Ripple tokens are issued by Ripple Labs Inc. And then Ripple Labs goes out there and does things to try uh, to create value for those tokens. Uh, yeah, so Ripple Labs, first of all, Ripple didn't create XRP. And they are not the issuer. They are the receiver of XRP. So it's already out into the wild. There, there you go. And uh, it just goes back to the idea I was saying a little bit earlier in the video. So if any, any, if any entity whatsoever tries to build value around any cryptocurrency that makes it a security so here's the problem you know the existing uh, existing regulations out there don't account and couldn't have accounted for the idea that there could be an asset that is decentralized and then becomes decentralized and vice versa when these regulations that we're going back to like the howey test in the 40s and all that they couldn't have possibly imagined this type of technology. They certainly didn't, and it doesn't fit neatly. Not, not it really doesn't. I mean, you'd have to like, you'd have to like take the asset, you know, like the the whole idea, and like get a, get a hammer and just like hammer it into the the existing uh, legislation, the the regulations, and it, it would be all mashed and mangled and not really fit properly. Like that's that's what they're trying to do here. And so Peter Schiff doesn't seem to have gotten far along enough in his, his, his thought process here to recognize such a thing, but that's where we're at. Moreover, Schiff, without any evidence, claims that the SEC is going to go after Bitcoin as well. Uh, can't really think out. I doubt this, though, but here's the quote. They are not saying it's not like Bitcoin. They are saying it's a security. They had to be registered and they've been selling unregistered securities. Now, I believe that the SEC ultimately will make the same allegations against Bitcoin. It's not really a commodity. Of course, they already cleared Bitcoin, but uh, I, so I don't believe for a moment that's going to happen. But you, if you want to come up with an argument, you can get clever and say, well, you know, what about the miners out there? The miners are mining Bitcoin, and that's uh, that's resulting you know, in common enterprise, and that's resulting in, uh, in the it was speculators coming in, increased price of Bitcoin. There's an expectation that because miners are doing that, and so that makes the, the Bitcoin a security of, of the Bitcoin miners. Now, that's stupid, obviously. Do I need to even get into why in this video? But uh, th that's, like, that's what he's talking, like that type of thing. And no, I don't believe that the SEC is going to come and do that. I, I really don't. And you can even look at how they handled the whole kick interactive uh, distribution of their kin token and they ultimately, as I've been reporting on this channel, they, they just, you know, they slapped a fine on Kick Interactive. And then they said, actually, even though this was a sale of unregistered security, you can continue to sell it if you give us 45 days no notice and fill out an exemption form. Which I know it's, it's absurd. That is actually what happened. And then they said, uh, Ken is not a security. What the hell? What in the ever-loving hell? I know life's weird. Life is super duper weird here, but I guess Peter probably doesn't know that happened either. So, and that was decided by the SEC that that's what was going to happen. So, all right, I'll wrap up there. Though I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say. All right, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.